Hey, my son at you 501 crew. This is Dr. Willis logging in fairly late uh, for your Wednesday update of Module 7. Uh, hopefully, you all had an outstanding week thus far. Uh, we know we're halfway through this week, uh, still with a little bit to go. Uh, so I'll jump right in. Uh, I want to start with the Module 7 paper. Uh, this week, we're carrying on with the research process. We're looking at results and conclusions. Uh, last week, we did uh, research questions and methodologies. Uh, this week is results and conclusions. Now, many of you in that first module seven paper, I've only graded about eight of, the, eight of those. Uh, many of you have already included your results and conclusions, which is great. So all you have to do is take that information from this that module six paper and plug it into module seven uh, and just elaborate a little more. So a lot of you already have, have done the legwork. Now with the results and conclusions, Again, there will be some articles uh, and some topics and some programs of study. Um, your article will speak directly to the results and it, <clears throat> it will have a results section. Now, there are other majors and programs. Um, your article may not have a specific results section. So what you have to do uh, is really analyze uh, your, your paper, your article and really discuss uh, if the author accomplished what he or she set out to accomplish in writing the article. Uh, so you won't have any specific data. Uh, you may not have any interview questions if it's qualitative. You may not have any survey data or if it's quantitative. So you may just have to pick out specific themes uh, and discuss if the author accomplished those things in that results se section and the conclusion section. So please be sure to watch this announcement. Hopefully you did. Uh, and if you have questions going further, please reach out to me on those because it can be a little bit confusing uh, if your article is not straightforward. Of course, uh, that module seven paper is going to be due Sunday by 1159 p.m. Now, the discussion board, uh, the discussion board is on citations. Now, I've already posted another video uh, that explains the discussion board uh, in detail. So if you've watched that video, you, you should understand how to respond uh, to the prop this week. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. Uh, but I did get this question in my email uh, based on the response instructions to that discussion board. Uh, and it states uh, it, it asks you to really delve a little deeper or to research the citation source that your peer used. Now, in this case, what you need to do is go and research the citation source and answer those questions that the uh, response instruction asks. So please do that. If you have questions, reach out to me, email me. I am more than happy uh, to either speak over the phone, however you want to do it. Uh, we can speak and discuss the matter. All right. Hopefully you all are having a great week again. Be sure to make up any past due papers uh, that will really work to improve your grade. All right. I will see you all very soon, most likely on Friday.